Hi there, it's Kathy again at One Sweet Shop. I thought I would show you what I am working on tonight. Oh, I haven't worked on anything in the evening all week long. I've started a new, uh, a new job. And I've just found that I am not having as much time as I would like to. So I haven't worked on anything all week, but look at what I found this week when I was going through my stash of goodies and I thought, wow, look at this old, this old uh, music book. And I went, wow, I think I want to use it. M.M. Cole Publishing Co. Chicago. It says the songs of the gay 90s, uh, which is kind of weird, but, and it was printed in 1942. So I think they meant to say the 1900s or something. I'm not quite sure because some of the songs are 1935. But it was published in 42. But look at how beautiful and brown these pages are. But along with them being beautiful and brown, they're beautiful and brittle. So I'm trying different things like maybe Mod Podge, glue, paint. I'm, I'm trying different things to see what I can use that's going to make them stick together a little better. And so I've started another journal and it's been sitting on my table tonight. I'm trying to get comfortable here. I'm sitting on a stool and I have my foot on my desk drawer and I'm kind of falling off my seat. But um, I am working on another journal that um, is made by the Gingerbread Prince. What is this here? It is called Whispers of Romance. And I just finished printing this one all out this week on my printer. I thought, okay, well, I'll get it printed. I have enough time for that. And I thought, I will print out all these pages. Some are on cardstock. I did, I did some of the pockets and things on cardstock. And the rest of the pages I did on just copy paper. Because these ones I'll be folding up and putting inside the journal, I do believe. I'm not sure how many signatures I'm gonna make. Um, I haven't really decided, but there's probably gonna be a few. They'll, they'll have to maybe be two, even though I kind of just like it the way it is. So far, this is what I've done. I took that music paper that I really loved, and I've started to add an extra sheet of paper to it just to give it some stability there. And then I put some washi here. That might end up getting cut off though when I'm starting to make the starting to make the signatures. And then on all the other pieces, I'm actually using some tape. And I'm going to tape them because just folding this is making it snap. So I thought, you know, I'm going to add a little bit of tape, make it a little stronger. And then I'll be adding my next piece in. And this is my coffee dye paper, some of my lace coffee dye paper. And I turned it so that the print is on this side because I'll put a pocket in here, I think. And this side here can be covered. And I'm gonna do something a little different. Usually um, I take and I stick my next sheet through here. Like with this sheet, it's two different, two different um, pictures on there. So let's fold it. I'm probably going to cut it because it has that little border around it that I don't like. But I'll probably put a sheet, maybe I'll turn it actually this way. I'll probably put the sheet in here and have it here. Whoops. And here, I'll cut the border off, of course. So I have to actually make everything... And I think I'll add that next sheet that I've torn will be in there. So I'm just in the planning phase. I haven't quite decided what I'm doing. And it looks like I had printed this on my old eco tank, And it likes to leave a little black sometimes on the edge. So I'm going to um, trim off all these borders. But I will fold it all. I'll get them all folded. I'm not sure if I'm going to be putting this side up or the other side, or maybe I'll be tearing this one away on this side. I'm not sure yet, but um, I'm just going to get them all folded. 
this one would make a nice center, I think. I kind of like the ones that they make that uh, have a a nice picture in the center, like this. A full picture would make a nice center. This one is two two separate images, so I'll fold this one this way. And uh, I can't wait to do this for like um, Valentine's. This would be exciting for Valentine's Day. That's two different pieces. So. The ones that are a single image, do I have them here anywhere? These are the ones that I know. I planned those ones for folding. Let me see if I have some that are a single image. Um, this would be a single image. This one here would be something I'd be folding in because I'm going to be gluing it to the music paper to give it some strength. So this one here... I'll fold it both ways, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna be taking and I'm gonna be tearing it away because I want the music paper to show through. I like these roses right here though, but you know what, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm gonna tear them away like this and I'm gonna ink those edges and when it folds out, it'll be like that. I don't want it both to be the same on both sides, so I'm gonna tear away a little bit. Whoops. A little bit in here and maybe a little bit down here I just want it to be a little different on both sides there now when it's folded I'll be able to put that one onto one of these and we'll still be able to see the name of the song and maybe this side has that lace paper but maybe I'll take this one and put it onto here instead and I'll put it on this one and I'm actually going to be sewing these signatures together. And then I think I'm going to be attaching these afterwards. Because it's not in the center. And it's not going to be sewn. This is actually going to be glued onto this part of the signature. Because the center of that signature. See how it's torn right there? I'm going to actually have to add another piece of tape. So I'm probably going to take a piece of cardstock. And I think I'm going to do something with a piece of cardstock in here. Or I will fasten it down with one of these ones. I'll flip this one over and put it in. And maybe I will actually glue it to that music page. And I might, maybe I'll tear around the people and have just them and the piece of paper here to attach. So, I don't know. We're going to see if it holds together if it falls apart on me maybe it'll be just a disaster I don't know but I'm gonna try and use it and see what happens and then I have some of my coffee paper in here and I thought I'm gonna try some shading with that uh, ink brush but look at all the beautiful prints that are gonna be in in this uh, well some of them will be in this journal there is so many and this is from the gingerbread print shop on Etsy um, you can also find her in the coffee, K-O-F-I, the coffee shop. Um, she has membership there, but she has some beautiful, beautiful prints for a romance journal. And that's what I wanted to work on. I found a few little um, button buttons, but I have quite a few of these pieces of music paper put down already. I'm trying to be very gentle with them because the more I play with them, the more they start to crease and fall apart. And I may eventually just take and start tearing some of the edges and make them kind of kind of rough, because I don't mind that. I think that might look kind of nice too. This is gonna be one of the center pictures that I'll put in here. It'll be one that has a full picture. Um, it may be like, well, even like this one here. I could put a full picture in this center of this one. This will be one of the centers that I sew. And then I went and found some of these because I thought, well, this would be a great place to be using some of these. And I can actually, I'll fix the edges so the edges are a little rough. I don't want them to be all even. And I'm going to put them in here and just fold this edge. And I'll use this one maybe down in here. I'll ink all these. 
and I'll put them down under here on this edge. And I might add another one at the top, or maybe I'll add something that's orange. I think this is upside down. There we go. I think that's better. Um, I'll add something up here. Maybe I'll add one all the way across. We'll see. I don't know. I'm still in the playing stage with this one, but I want it to be different. And I really love the way all the words come through. Um, I'm going to definitely be using some Mod Podge, some matte matte Mod Podge, so that it's not shiny. I want it to be just kind of plain. I want it to be flat. I might also be curling up some of these edges. So they look like they'll be flat, but I may be taking some rollers or I may be taking my scissors and really roughing up these edges. I want them to look really rustic and worn away. Kind of get that grungy kind of look on them. So, but now that that's brown, I can put it in there and then I'll be able to just maybe even fold these up or tear them or things like that and just leave them sticking up and out. I want to put other things underneath. I might even stick a piece of something underneath in a lighter color to give it a different look. I found some of these. Um, my daughter gave me this and I'm so excited to finally be able to use it because I think this would go along with this seam. It's kind of romantic, romantic washi tape story collection I think these are beautiful and I think even to just okay take this man's picture here and put it up in here or something I think it's going to look nice so there's some um there are some fisher women in here could use those there's some stamps with little gold edges I really like that that's going to look great in here um so I'm going to have some fun playing around with my washi this is some really cool washi. When it's gone, I'm going to have to order some more because I really like it. Little Dream of Dream On Artistic Portrait. This is from Journal Say. This is another item from Journal Say that my daughter ordered me. I can even cut this out and make a tag out of it. Like all these pieces of their packaging I can use. And I really like that. I could cover this with a piece of uh, washi or something. I could keep that post office thing. And I could just cover this one little thing up and use this whole section as another tag. So, fun, fun. And now I'm going to get to use my my booklets, too. I also got this from my daughter. It came in after Christmas. She ordered me this. I haven't yet um, done any more of my wax seals. Because I'm waiting for a much safer pot to come in. My daughter ordered me... A wax seal pot that's electric. <laughs> they said, Mom, you're not allowed to work on any more candles. <laughs> because they watched my video and it was funny. So, I'm getting a, a wax seal pot that's electric. <laughs> We're going to see how that works out. So, I'm going to try to rough up some of these edges. Maybe tear them a little bit. Add a little more. Add more of this Distress Oxide here. Just to have different little things. I'm not quite sure how this is going to work out. It may look like a big mushy mess when I'm done. But we're going to see. And it's going to turn out pretty cute, I think. So, But uh, just in time for romance, I'm going to be... These pages here with the borders, I'm going to be shredding them. And ripping them all around. Because I want it to be just really torn up something that looks like it's old came from a long time ago and i would be adding a lot of other brown paper to this i have a lot of brown paper i've been saving so and i had some reader's digest books oh where are those those are right here i'm going to show you what i got from the reader's digest books oh please don't all fall on the floor i was cutting down reader's digest books for um oh i was keeping the covers to use the covers but look at all the brown paper I got from them. And they're all different colors because it came from all different books. Oh, look, there's a person. So I kept some of the images and I kept some of the paper and stuff. And I just love this stuff when I need to rip off a piece and use it. So, and look at the difference in the coloring. So it's going to be pretty wild to be using 
some of these papers. They're all different colors. I can just tear off a couple pieces and use them here and there. That's going to be fun to use too. So, and you know, I think I'm safe using these Reader's Digest from a long time ago because, you know, I know there's not going to be a bunch of profanity in it or a bunch of smut in it or whatever. So, I know I'm pretty safe probably using this stuff. And it's pretty brittle too, actually. But it'll look nice once I shade it and uh, tuck it underneath one of these one of these pages here. I can tuck it in somewhere here and it'll just add something else to this to this page. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. But anyway, I just thought I'd show you what's on my workbench here to be worked on. Look at this lovely lady. She reminds me of Gone with the Wind or something. Scarlett O'Hara, I think. I'm not sure what Scarlett looked like, but I've never really seen the movie. But I thought uh, that's kind of the idea that I'm thinking of when I'm looking at this. The Scarlett O'Hara and Gone with the Wind. So this is going to be a lot of fun to do. I don't know how many. I think I'm probably going to have to have two signatures because I have quite a bit of paper already here. And then I want to add a couple, maybe a couple lace pages even. I might put lace over top of the music pages and sew it in. So we're going to see what happens. I don't know. It might fall all apart and I might have to change my whole idea. But we'll see. We'll see. But anyway, if you want to make your own Whispers of Romance journals, you know, Gingerbread Prince has a prints for it. And uh, add your own elements and it'll look just fine. Have yourself a good night, and thanks for stopping by to visit, and I'll see you again. Bye-bye.